In this lesson, we're solving literal equations. A literal equation is a formula. Basically, it's a bunch of letters uh, with just a few numbers. We're gonna use these three steps. Step one, ask what variable, that's a letter, am I isolating? That means getting alone. Step two, remember PEMDAS. Step three, use backwards PEMDAS to isolate the variable. Let's give it a go. This is example A. Example A says 4x plus b equals 12 for x. So step one, ask what variable am I isolating? x, you're isolating x. You know you're isolating x because it said 4x. Step two, remember PEMDAS. Say PEMDAS with me, PEMDAS. Now, what does PEMDAS stand for? Say it with me, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Step three, use backwards PEMDAS to isolate the variable. For using backwards PEMDAS, we're gonna start with addition and subtraction. Since we're isolating the X, we're gonna come to the side with X, and we're gonna say, is there any addition or subtraction? Hmm, yes, there's addition. You know there's addition because there's this plus sign right here. What is the opposite of addition? That's right, subtraction. We're gonna subtract the B from both sides. We have to subtract the B from both sides because that's what you do in algebra. That means on this side, the Bs are gonna cancel out and you're left with four X, drop your equal sign, and then watch this very closely. 12 minus B. All right. When we are isolating the X, we're gonna to come to the side with X and we're gonna say, is there any more addition and subtraction that we need to deal with? No, there's not. We're going to move to multiplication and division. We're going to look at the side with the variable we want to isolate, get a loan, and in this case, that's X. Is there any multiplication or division on the side with the X? Yes, there is. There's multiplication. How do you know? You know there's multiplication because it's four times X. How do you get rid of multiplication in algebra? That's right, you use division. I'm gonna divide both sides by four. What I do to one side, I have to always do to the other. That means the fours are going to cancel out, leaving the X. I'm gonna drop my equal sign. And then this part can get a little tricky, but what I like to do is I like to make a loop and another loop. I think it kind of looks like a heart because I love fractions. All right, 12 divided by four is three. And then this can get a little tricky. There's a super secret hidden one in front of the B and I like to write it. And then I'm going to divide my signs first. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. And then I'm gonna say one divided by four, and that's one fourth because we love fractions, so we're gonna leave it as a fraction. What's left? The B. Okay. Now, we are trying to isolate the X. Is the X isolated? How do you know? That's right, because the X is alone. We have isolated the X, it equals three minus one fourth 